now I want you to think about this. We're standing on Mount Blessing versus Mount Curse. And here is where God spoke. Yeah, he spoke to Abraham, but he spoke it to the world. I, almighty God, the same God who said someday, Amos, Jeremiah, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, someday the Jewish people will be scattered across the four corners of the earth. But I will bring them back. And here's where for, for 2,000 years, the, the, the brains of the world said, this proves your Bible's not true. Because there's never been a nation, no language, no government, no people, four corners of the earth, and they come back to a land. It proves your Bible's not true. But in 1948, God did exactly what he said never has happened in the history of the world, and it happened. Now, that same God said about this, from this spot right here, I will bless those who bless Israel, and I will curse those who curse you. You know, I, I believe strongly that the scripture that says, I'm in this world, but I'm not of this world. So it doesn't matter to me what anybody else does. Me and my family, we're standing for God. We're standing for Israel. We're standing against anti-Semitism. And we're going to receive the blessing of God. What matters is what you do. What matters is what you do come election time. If you vote for Trump, you're voting for the blessing because he's going to stand with the nation of Israel. And, and I'm, going to, I'm going to tell you guys something. I've always said there's been three major spiritual times in my life. One is when I began to serve God. I went from a heroin addict to a child of God. Two is when I received the spirit of God, the Shekinah into my life. The third was 33 years ago when I first came to Israel and God spoke to me and he said, you've been lied to. I'm gonna teach you to reread the Bible through the eyes of a Jewish Moses, a Jewish Abraham, a Jewish Jesus, a Jewish Paul. But I've had today a fourth experience standing right here. And I'm gonna tell you something. I've had a fourth experience of God in my life. When I'm standing here, you know, I, I've, I've always heard and I've always said, you'll never fully understand the Bible until you read it from the place it was written. Folks, what was written that is affecting the world and will change your life is from this spot right now. A, 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 a couple hours ago, we saw the strategic point there's, there's Tel Aviv, there's um, uh, the, airport. the airport. There, you, you can't give that land up. There's where Hannah and Elkanon walked the valley to go to Shiloh. The beginning of prayer to God, of God saying, any of you can come to me in prayer. You don't need anybody between me and you. That was here. But now we're talking about the tomb of, of Joseph. Now we're talking about why did Joseph want to be buried right there? It's right there. It's right there. Because this is where God spoke, yes, to Abraham, but God spoke to the world. When you bless Israel, I, almighty God, the same God who said Israel would become a nation again and everybody said it'll never happen. This is the same God who said, when you bless Israel, I'll bless you. I, I know for a fact that my son Lion is alive today and my wife, is is alive today because of us standing with Israel. I never realized I'd be standing on the spot. I can't wait to bring you. We're going to do teachings from here. We're going to bring you here. This place right here, which is not the West Bank, this place right here, which is Samaria, Judea and Samaria, the land given to the Jewish people by Almighty God. We're standing right here. This is a life-changing experience. You need to come with us because when you come here, I guarantee you the Bible will come alive and your life will be changed. Stand with us as we stand with the nation of Israel.